Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included and TTG's incredible ant farm. And yes, the ants here, or the duplicates, are doing the job. They are not getting paid for it because they are duplicates. They are expendable. No. Nothing would get done if I didn't, ha didn't have them, um, to be honest. Uh, the only way to actually get things done is to have duplicates do the job for you but hopefully we will get this done um, attribute athletics that's good it would be nice if you could just like yeah what i'm going to do is actually the the digging and building over here will be a six so it gets prioritized at this point um yeah then i have to let the water drip And, um, yeah, we do need to fix a bunch of stuff here. And I have to be careful so they don't get stuck in here. Because if they do, they will die. Or well, they might die if I'm not quick about it. I'm actually going to not let them do that. Um, this, however, can be cleaned. Oh my god. Um, a lot of time does get sucked up by running through here so yeah it's it's very efficient material wise and space wise and digging wise but it's not efficient time wise when it comes to running like getting from here up here takes a lot of time at this point so it's not super super good or efficient or anything at this point really I'm going to remove this And yes, um, this water lock is super handy. It's probably one of the easiest way of getting, like having control of not gases passing from one side to the other. But at the same time, it's it does give you the sopping wet debuff, which might not be ideal, but I'm going to fix all the water at this point because it has stopped and um, yeah the water here doesn't know what temperature it's going to be at so yes it's going from water like liquid to solid ice quite a lot If we look here, yeah, it's because the insulated tile most likely is warming up the ice 
just enough to turn um, to liquid. And yeah, we haven't actually gotten any sick duplicates in a while, which is really good. Nothing I'm going to complain about, really. Um, and yeah. This will stabilize and will go up a bit in temperature. It will stabilize and normalize to probably like 20 or somewhere, somewhere between 15 and 20 degrees Celsius. But it's going to take a while, a long while. Um, Yes, um, we do want, what I'm going to do actually is dig straight in like that, because I do want to remove this slime here, because it's an annoyance, and I will do this as well. Um, I will actually dig in like this like that and like that you can dig a force uh, like four tiles like this without any problems so this shouldn't be any problem digging out all of this shouldn't be any issues so that's what I'm going to do. And duplicates can go f two tiles down and up. So this gap, like this ledge here, is no problem getting up and down from. So, And if a duplicate can get down, they can get up. So there's no... Nothing problematic about this here what i'm doing like this way of digging is there are no problems with it there shouldn't be any problem problems with it i have told them to not eat muckroot so it's useless picking it up really at this point i am digging because i want more body body bud seeds Right, we do actually have two people who can dig into these. Uh, yes, um, I should probably do this. And I'm going to put this one here. And we are going to need one up there as well. Should probably do this then. There we go. And uh, yeah, they are they are doing like this here, which I told them to do. Which is in the polluted water, which isn't ideal, but it's clean, so there's no germs in it. They won't be affected that way. Um yeah, we're gonna take the algae. I don't want more people at this point. Um not not yet. Uh, let's look a bit of, at the. Yeah, we're going to take the smart home ones, uh, home one, because um, 
we are getting to the point where we want no not that one um we are getting to the point uh where we need to fix uh where we need to fix um our progression when it comes to like research and we need to build up a bit and stabilize um, okay it's got dropped down there and uh, there that's fine it's a sterile atmosphere so it's not decaying but okay whatever all oh, right because it's downtime so there's no work being done um i should probably take one of these and put them like or two of them like that and take this one and neural these can be recharged but yeah they require a va uh, vacillator re recharge item which um yeah if i remember correctly from i have never made them or found them um so not sure how hard they are like how hard they are to make how resource uh, what kind of resources you need to make them but if i remember correctly they are quite expensive and hard to make so yeah let's see uh 15 percent to wake up Ren by moving one tile so he actually is useful we did get the smart home which is automation which require you to have refined metals um and for that i think we are going to just like put this here maybe or should i put it down here or something It does need 240 watts of power, so not a small amount of power to power it. And you will need to run it a lot. But I don't want down in the carbon dioxide where you can't breathe properly. So there. But then do like this and this. like that and put and do the copper ones like that the thing about coal generators is that they actually produce uh, carbon dioxide they actually make carbon dioxide um, so something to be careful of um, that if you're not watching how much carbon dioxide there is you might actually yeah uh, you might actually um, have like all of a sudden half your base is carbon dioxide because there's not enough oxygen to push down on the carbon dioxide and the higher the pressure the more push one gas will will like uh, my, uh the more force uh, one gas will exert over the gas that has a lower pressure so two kilos two kilograms of oxygen will push harder against one kilogram of carbon dioxide um, which means that carbon dioxide will be 
crush down into a smaller pocket than it otherwise would have been if the pressure would have been equal. And that's the same, like true the other way around. Uh, common dioxide will take uh, more space if oxygen, if there's a low pressure of oxygen, common dioxide will spread out more. So you have to be a bit careful when it comes to some of the mechanics in this game. Attributes, athletics, good, good. Going to bed, that's good. And, um, yeah, the reason why I'm putting is uh, like setting up the rock crusher is because we will need uh, refined metals at this point, so. And I do want the smart battery. I might actually, yeah, I haven't researched it. So if we I think it's up here, there it is, smart battery. Um, smart battery is expensive to build, but it's way, way better if you do a bit of automation to whatever generator you're having or using. Um, Yeah, it, it's um, so handy. I will have a bit of problem because coal generators spew out a bit of um, heat. Quite a lot of it, actually. The same with electric grill, it produces heat as well. And yeah, it's quite like 37 degrees. 38.9. 38.4. 31 31.6, like. And over here it's 24, 26. And the thing is, it's like these meal woods can't be can't have a temperature of over 30 degrees because they will then wilt and not grow so yeah and they have changed how these words are working regrettably and they are basically useless in the wild growth um, variant so um yeah because if you read the information now these words can be grown in flower pots and absorb heat by uh respiring through their porous outer membranes so basically they suck up heat and spew out um out um, some um, uh, some cold so it basically takes the hot air and makes it cold but um, they thought it was probably way too overpowered to have it in a flower pot like this and just passively infinitely cool everything so yeah they put automation to it and so it became more or less useless or rather they didn't put automation to it so because they removed it basically yeah long story short these words no longer worth it too bad they are good um may they might be useful i'm actually going to test it i'm going to see if 
Like, put them in a flower pot and see if they actually function at all. They might not. So, yeah. Let's see, we have one, two, three. And it's fine. I'm actually going to say cancel and remove this one. I'm going to uproot this and put this at a priority nine. The so next cycle they will get to that, hopefully. Oh, we have some puffletts egg. Yeah, getting eggs um, can actually be quite hard to get enough like raw egg material to make omelets. So, but yeah, you. I usually just make all. All the eggs I can. That, is, that I basically get for free. Could you please uproot this one? Please, 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 please. I don't care who does it, I just want you to do it. Thank you, and then moving it up there would be nice, and we are going to deconstruct this one as well. Uh, there is a reason why I'm doing it, because... Oh my god, is it going down? Right, because... Uh, it's, um... It's cold, so yeah. Uh, Catalina gained skill points, okay, and we actually got a smart battery. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually deconstruct these quickly and put... No, we're not. No, we're not going to do that. That would be stupid. Uh, we do need 200 kilos of refined metal. We're going to take some gold amalgam it creates 50 so we need four and since i want to do two of them i need eight and i do need to there yeah. and once uh once we get to jukebox and our control station, which we could actually put in here, but yeah. Mary, so Catalina and Mary, yes, you're going to do critter. You're going to do building. And should I do supplying on you? Like supplying two? Should I do something else or just not do it? I'm not going to allocate those points right now we do have me lice but it's a lot of it and i'm not sure we need it i'm going to take a risk uh, deconstructing these but i'm not going to remove like remove the me lice i have i'm going to keep it but I'm not going to produce any more. If we then sweep this. And I'm not sure if it's machining. Machinery that's lets you operate quicker. Probably is. Like, they have renamed and, like, redone the attributes so many times, I'm not sure, really. Um, I'm gonna take the pip eggs. 
we are going to deconstruct that one and uh, move everything over here. And um, what this is, it takes uh, like copper ore and makes uh, pure copper and like half, you, you take 100 copper ore or 100 gold amalgam or something and then you get 50, gra uh, 50 kilo, uh, 100 kilos ore and then you get 50 kilos of sand and 50 kilos of pure copper or gold or whatever. You choose um, it's actually something you have to do uh, there's a better way of doing it like getting refined metals but this is basically the early game way of getting it so um, like this game I have played a lot of it uh, but I've never ever really got into the whole end game shooting rockets and stuff because it's so hard. It's like they're so far away. If we are at cycle 81 at this point, I can guarantee you it's basically like two or three hundred cycles until we can even think about shooting up rockets and stuff it, it takes a while it, a long while maybe i would say almost too long but maybe not not sure hard to say what what is um too long or not too long We have 300 kilos of refined metal at this point. Um, I do want to... get to 400. There we go. One more and we're at 400. Uh, I'm actually going to go into priorities and see like machining where is it or is it not this is so annoying because uh, operating machinery for production fabrication and utility purposes like effect air and space mission generate power tinker Operational supply, use fan, train, power supply, pressurize well, fabricate. It's so. Operating is so. Like. Massive. There's so many things that falls under operating, it's insane. But then you have, like, machining, which is specific for some, but not others. But they both fall in under the operating. When it comes to priorities and yeah, that's probably not something I l would have done if I were the developer of this game, but it's it's their thing, their game, so nothing really we can do about it other than just complaining and hope they change it. <laughs> um Nothing major, just not that obvious, really. If you start off as, off as a new game, uh, a new player, might not be obvious that's the case. So that's really the only reason, for me at least. Uh, I need this to 
go up like zero point like one degree would be nice like a little teensy bit warmer plicks no not gonna happen no Pro probably not going to happen anytime soon but yeah we do need it to combat uh, a bit more of the slime lung and there's not a lot of slime lung so i'm not complaining but yeah getting it would actually be good um good they have built the liquid pump we do need at this point we do need uh, a reservoir for this water but in like clean version of it um let's see yes. so i mean what's the temperature of the water it's 23 it's actually not that bad and with the changes to the water sieve they have made now it doesn't increase the water temperature of water uh, or decrease it doesn't arbitrarily set the output water like the water output to be 40 degrees so we could actually let's say build one there like that and then pump the water basically straight in here more or less yeah uh, what I'm going to do is actually just run a wall down like that and what I'm going to do then is this There's a bunch of granite which will take some time to get rid of, but... And the reason why I'm not taking this one is because there's a thimble reed growing in the wild, so I don't want to ruin that. I'm going to... And the reason why I'm building the insulating tile is because I don't want the... I don't want it to like increase in temperature really we're going to build that and I will build like that and that should and we're going to have to do this and this should be a big enough reservoir for for the water so uh, what I'm going to do is super quickly is no not there I'm gonna have it over here somewhere like that that's just to force the water into an area so the liquid pump is at, as it it's most effective uh, like you have the most effect effect or out of the liquid pump so we're going to do that like this and we are going to dig from like the left here and build a wall from the left uh, and yes it will be more running uh, than it might be necessary no actually we are going to do remove this one I'm actually going to do it from this from this side and then just boom 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 and uh, we will probably have to do something like this to get 
up into the corner. And then... There we go. And that should suffice. That would be... That should be good enough. But, oh my god, we're gone, gone on for way too long. So we're going to uh, call this episode here. A um, bit over time. Five minutes. Five and a half minutes. Uh, but uh, with that, we are going to build and process this polluted water into water and store it over here and we are going to have to build it in insulated tile because i don't want all of this heat over here to leak into our base um or affect the water which is going to be here so with that we are going to say Thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.